So now it is my great pleasure to introduce one of my colleagues. Uh, Vicki Squires is the Interim Associate Dean of Research and Graduate Support and International Initiatives at the University of Sask Saskatchewan. Uh, and so Vicki, I'm gonna hand it over to you. Fantastic, thank you. And I'm just so enjoying this day with all the different uh, activities that we've done and so on. Uh, we're going to move into another breakout uh, session in just a few minutes. It will be run essentially the same way. You'll, you'll show up in a breakout room and we'll have a couple questions to pose for you. But before we uh, go into those breakout rooms, we're gonna talk a little bit about what we mean by whole systems approaches. And, and that's really what the Okanagan Charter uh, want, proposes is that this is not a siloed approach. It's, it's embedded and it's connected and it's collaborative. So uh, Dr. Doris and his colleagues have uh, um, a model presented, several different models presented. And, and the one we're thinking about right now looks at the whole systems approaches. Uh, we will be able to share share what that model is in a second or two um, to bring up that visual of it. And it was um, developed by the, Dr. Doris, the preeminent scholar in this area. And we heard about the values that underpin this system, these whole systems approaches. We heard about that in the president's panel. And in health promotion, it really is a broad spectrum. And the goal is really that you're trying to develop a supportive ethos and a culture and environments to enhance the health and well being. As you can see from the blue boxes below in that first uh, pillar, there are some ways that you uh, can understand where your university or your campus is at and where it needs to head, but what really does it value? And then in embedding it, there, it's put into all kinds of places that, as we've talked about, and especially in the, you heard more about that in the president's panel. It's in policies, strategic plans, press releases, financial planning, they're all aligned with the health promotion priority. There's multiple means of messaging and organizing the opportunities for regularized conversations about these goals. And the key, thinking of the campus as an interconnected whole. And I think I've, I wrote down some terms today, collective impact models and being proactive and collective leadership and collaborative leadership. So all of those words suggest we're working together on this. And that last pillar focusing on the whole population. And I think in, in one of our sessions, we were talking about really how to this point, often we are focusing tend to focus on students and student well-being, but that we're really talking about the whole campus, that everybody takes ownership for this work and it applies to everybody on the campus. And understanding that within our campus, we do have other, we have subpopulations to consider, whether it's students who are parents, whether it's black scholars, whether it is students um, in, who uh, identify as non in the that do not identify in the in the binary system for gender, and so on. We look at it also within this wider system. So we talk about the built environment that includes the community and the province, the state, the country that your campus is embedded in, and how we find out about these opportunities and challenges are by taking a look at what your own campus is doing as well as these opportunities today to talk about the whole, whole world, essentially, as we talked about 21 countries. How do we all see our work in this space? So as we break out into sessions, there's two questions that we want to talk about uh, today. One is, what is one thing that your campus could do tomorrow to move towards a whole system approach? And the second one is, how can formal and informal leaders support campuses in moving towards a whole systems approach? By formal and informal, we're really thinking about the, what the formal leaders have that um, formalized role of authority on campus, but informal leaders emerge in all spaces. And we talked a lot about students today. So that would be one example of 
um, their huge influence as informal leaders, but also formal leaders through their student unions and associations. So I welcome you to have a engage in a discussion and um, we'll be breaking out right shortly here.